Hello everyone and welcome to episode 132 of this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and you are very welcome. So, we are moving on to the next story mission in the Iconium War story arc, which is Delta Flight. So let's get our mission brief. Captain Tom Paris has requested your ship for a joint mission with his task force. I won't lie to you. We're not making much headway against the Iconian so far. You and your crew have proven to be capable of fighting them. Delta Flight is one of the only other teams to do so. Together, perhaps you can start to turn the tide. Report to the Cal Bryden system. Captain Paris and his team are waiting for you there. Right. So, um, that's what we have to do. Uh, this mission has a unique item, which is a, a pilot specialization qualification. Basically, uh, what this does is it allows you to train a bridge officer in the pilot um, specialization, um, which means that they can use pilot uh, ab abilities. Um, the ship that you're flying has to have a pilot seat um, on it as well in order to use those abilities. Uh, so yeah, just uh, keep that in mind. It also has this uh, Polaric modulator. Um, plus 5 inertia, plus 12% flight speed, plus 20% turn rate while in slipstream, and plus 20% flight turn rate. Add 7.5% of your weapons power to your engine power as bonus power. It's nice, um, but it, it, it's not going on our build. Um, yeah, it, it's a nice thing. Depending on your builds, you know, it might be nice if you're, um, maybe a cruiser, uh, it might be good for. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll accept that mission. Now, something that I want to let you guys um, know about before we actually proceed in with the mission. If you remember, we had a bunch of uh, missions here. Um, they were in our In Progress tab. Basically, they were all linked to the Lakari Restoration Initiative. And if you remember the Temporal Defense Initiative and the task force, uh, Terran Task Force reputations, we had to go to Deep Space Nine, go up to Ops, and talk with a certain NPC there. That's what all of the missions that were here, that's what they were. Um, you had to do. You basically had to go to Deep Space Nine, talk to the very same NPC, uh, non-player contact, and... Um, you know, that's it. You just talk, you get a bit of lore um, or, you know, uh, story st stuff that you can read through. And that's it. So I basically got rid of those. There was no point in recording it on camera. But still, I want to let you guys know uh, what happened to those. Um, so that if you're playing along with me here, um, maybe you can do the same thing yourself. Anyway, let's jump in to Delta Flight and get it started. Right, so we are on the bridge of some ship. Uh, here's Lieutenant Commander Meryl Paris. Welcome to the U.S. We've both come a long way since I'm looking for... Uh, as always, I'm just going to F-bomb through everything. Uh, we have to talk to a number of NPCs Warrior. here. I am the... um... Andrew Weston, all-around genius. Morale and I... Have Jolon true I thought so. Hello there. You know I'm Canada. It's good to get Alright, now we speak to Tom Paris. Thanks for coming. Oh, no. So this used to be Cal Bryden 3. Intelligence believes that the Iconians destroyed the planet to gather materials for a subspace disruption device. We think they intend to use this device to open a door for their Solene forces to enter our space. A whole new fleet for the Iconians? We can't let that happen. Exactly. But the planetary debris has created an asteroid field, and the mineral content of those asteroids will shield us from the Iconian sensor arrays. I've plotted a course for us, 
but we'll still need to watch for the Herald patrols. The station with the device is in the center of the debris. Weston will override their computers while we run interference. Once the station's shields are down, we'll eliminate it and the device with extreme prejudice. Is that another reference from that ancient program about impossible missions you like to watch? Uh, something like that. The Alliance doesn't have a fleet to send against this station. We're it. If we can't do it, no one can. So, no pressure. I hope you're all ready to do the best flying you've ever done, because that's what we're going to need to complete this mission. Let's head them up and move them out. Dismissed. <laughs> they really went out of their way there to give some old catchphrases for Paris, I think. Uh, funny, though, all the same. And, of course, the reference to Mission Impossible as well. The rubble in our way used to be the... The Heralds have set up a... Alrighty. Fly to Security Perimeter Satellite. That would be this doohickey right here. <clears throat> okay, Wes. I need... Uh, right, okay, so we have to get these as the number appears. Whoop, crap. That, wow, that one changed really quickly. Okay. We've done it. Hurry. Okay, here's the good. How would you rate your piloting abilities? Bringing up your navigational HUD now. Right. So, um, as you've seen there, there was an easy, Try to medium, stick to and the hard. Path I've outlined. Um, it's like one of the missions that we done on Kabali Prime, where you can select the difficulty for different stages of the mission. I just picked easy, just for um, the, you know the sake of it. The mineral content of the asteroids will shield us from the Herald sensor. Try to stay in formation with the rest of the squadron. Um, but if you picked any of the other options, it would probably bring you on a different path to what we're actually doing here. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Is it some kind of alpha quadrant thing? Kinda. I'll explain it later, Ferrix. Fire your proton packs, kids. The next turn is a tight one. We already came up on a tight turn. Easy enough for a talented, Ooh, handsome pilot summary. like myself. Everyone's mom tells them they're handsome, Ferrix. Friendly fire. Ow, I'm wounded. Fewer asteroids through here. More chances of being spotted. Race you. Torpedoes loaded and ready. ready. Fire in the hole. That was terrible. This reminds me of flying through Earth's space dock. <laughs> they don't like it when you do that at full impulse. Yeah. Uh, wait. Who let Ferrix fly inside ESD? Weston? No comment. Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy night. Ha! <laughs> I've flown through worse in the Badlands. Whoa, Morale. Watch the paint job there, Tiger. Don't be a rear seat pilot. I think you mean backseat driver. But we're flying, uh, sir. All right, I had to back into that one because we missed it. Arrow patrol up ahead. Take them out before they can warn the others. I'm jamming their outgoing transmission to but it won't last. So as you would expect, there's probably a different accolade uh, for doing that part that we just done successfully on the different difficulties. Shields are down. We're taking on boarding parties. Damn it! Hang on, Moral. 
I'm bringing a team over to help. Target shield has failed. Take out those heralds! We need backup over here. Right. So now we're beaming over to the ship to help fend off the Iconians or something like that, I think, anyway. My team and the Burns Okay, let's zoom in the mini map. Get a better idea of what's going on. Iconians are held behind a shield or force fields, except for these guys. Fell back here to grab the bridge crew. Now that you in. Right. Drop emergency force field. So that will be the emergency force field that we've seen down here. And we can kick some ass. I think this is actually the first mission we've done since we got our new uh, fleet run here as well. to the bridge. Unseal bridge turbo lift controls. Morale! Ooh. Welcome to the We could use a little help. Whoa, that was a hard hit. Call one of the bridge officers to revive us. Come on, one of you guys. There we go. Okay, now of course we're getting to pick up our loot. And we can proceed on. I think that's the last. Your ship is damaged. Everyone. As much as I. I know. A Good job on the. Restore power relays. Uh, see some flash or highlighted over here. That does it. Let's. are going to notice. Okay, more fancy flying. Time to pick up the pace, people. I got some scans of those ships. Should give me an advantage when we get to the station. We're coming up on the center of their operations. Detecting Solene energy signatures ahead. Ah, Solene. Ugh. They give me the creeps. Wow. I've never seen. Target the ships defending the station. Warning. Ship is under attack. Maybe that solar gear is in That's bad news. Ah. Look at the cooldowns that are gone. The uh, weapons. Hull integrity below 75%. Target shields have failed. 
Okay, that's that guy down. Something tells me there's another accolade here somewhere, and it's behind that station or something. It could be a part that's coming up. Weston, you're up. We'll keep them busy. On it. Iconian energy signature detected. Evasive maneuvers. Pattern, Paris Delta 2. Andrew! We need to abort. We can't do this without Weston. I can do it. Andrew gave me a backup copy of his algorithms in case something happened. We're... We're falling back. Dad, I know you mean well, but I have to do this. You know what will happen if the Solanet can break through. We'll lose everything. Okay, Moral. You can be almost as stubborn as your mother, but I know when I'm beat. All right, people, you heard her. We're going in hot. Cover Moral's ship so she can finish this. We are Delta Flight, and we will not be stopped. Yes. Warning. Ship is under attack. Alright, I need to back away to get some uh, perspective on this guy. Look at the cooldowns they inflict. Jesus. Target shields have failed. Four shields failing. Ah! Station shields are down. It can be damaged. Destroy shielding nodes on station. Yep. Back over this way. Warning. Ship is under attack. We're getting there. Attack the dreadnought. I can see it. Ah, oh, there it is. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Hit points this guy's out. Two nodes gone. left on the station. Take him out now. Ah. The rest of these shielding nodes. Last node. Destroy it. And we can take out the dreadnought and finish this. Shields are offline. Destroy the dreadnought. Answer hail from Lieutenant Paris, Commander Paris, sorry. Lieutenant Commander Paris. You tried something and it's not... Detecting a power surge! I have their main computer. They're still trying to start the conversion process, but their shields are completely down. Okay, let's blow up this thing and head home. Evasive maneuvers! <laughs> uh, 
And that's it. I found the mission. interesting in a computer. The station is exactly. Right, so let's uh, hail Starfleet. Losing Weston is regrettable, but we needed a victory today. Thanks to you, we have one. Defeating a Herald Dreadnought is a significant achievement. Destroying their station and keeping the Solanae locked in subspace is even more valuable. The number of ships and soldiers we have is finite. We cannot allow the Iconians to have a numerical advantage as well as a technological one. I will examine the files Lieutenant Commander Paris managed to recover from the Herald computers. Perhaps a strike on this base she found will be our next move. Right. Um, I'm trying to think what will I pick. Uh, hmm, what will I pick? Um, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Um, I know I have... Yeah, see, I've already got a Mark 13 Neutronium there, at least until I get a replacement console, which is actually coming up pretty soon. Um, yeah, we'll pick that one. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll leave it there for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. My name is Winters, and I will see you next time. So until then, take care.